Booyah! Hey guys, how's it going? Today I am here for my first and only Hearthstone rant. I am not good enough at Hearthstone to be making these regular rants talking about various things in Hearthstone. In fact, I'm actually considering dropping the TF2 rants because I think there's a better way of editing those. I might keep the whole commentary rant style, but I want to change my editing style rather than just throwing fucking TF2 footage in front of it. Getting past that, that's not what I'm talking about today. Today I am talking about a specific thing that I thought needed to be brought up at least once in current Hearthstone format. What happened in Hearthstone recently was Blizzard announced a standard set that they're going to release to change both casual and competitive scenes. Standard sets, if you don't know, which you probably do by now if you play Hearthstone, are basically where they take the, the most recent set and the original set and they cut out the rest and you have to pick from the most recent set and the original set in order to create your decks. The sets in the middle, i.e. in this example, goblins and gnomes, are completely cut out. They're no longer a part of the standard set, so they cannot be used in standard format. Now, a lot of people question two things about this, and they're highly critical of these two things. Firstly, Hearthstone is too small to implement something like this, and secondly, that it's a money grab to try and get more money for packs. Now, my opinion of the second one is that it's complete bullshit. The reason they make sets coming from a guy who plays a game with sets and a game without sets is because if you don't put in sets, you cause a serious issue in the meta where people will either one, play cards that they already own, ignore the new ones because they're not as good as the cards they already own, or two, which is more common, which they have to do, is they create cards that are better than the cards that already exist, so players will feel obligated to buy the packs and get the new card. This is called Power Crawl. Now, Power Crawl is a huge issue in trading card games. If Power Crawl is a perpetual thing that constantly happens, eventually there is a point where the cards get so ridiculously good that there would be no logistic reason why you would ever use this, the original set or any of the expansions before that. Power Crawl is a huge problem in one of the games I play, which is Yu-Gi-Oh!, which every new deck that comes out has to be better than the last. And because of that, the new deck that comes out is always extremely expensive, while the decks before it are heavily nerfed and heavily cut down so people will buy the new decks and keep the card game alive. An example of where sets are actually used is Magic the Gathering. I play, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering as well and they also have a standard set and they never have this power crawl problem simply because all of the middle sections i.e. our current set and the original cards have never been an issue. The thing with Magic is it's been around for so long that the original set is pretty much gone into obscurity. So now it's just the current set we're working with. In saying that, it is an amazing idea. Power Crawl has never been a problem in Magic because if a card is ridiculously good, they don't have to make a better card because eventually that card will leave the set rotation and it will go down in price, popularity and value, meaning that the new set will come in and provide more variety in mechanics and cards that they can use while still not having to be better than the last mechanic. This make trading card games last for a much longer time. I think Hearthstone will greatly benefit from having this huge set of cards which they can work with. Despite completely agreeing with sets in this respect, i.e. completely avoiding this awful power crawl, I still haven't talked about the first issue I mentioned to do with these sets, is that Hearthstone doesn't have enough cards. And yes, the thing with Magic is Magic has been going for about 15 years, give or take, 20 even. It's been going since the 90s. So in saying that, they've had a lot of cards to work with. They have tens of thousands, more, hundreds of thousands of cards. Whereas Hearthstone only has a few hundred, about a thousand even. They don't have enough cards in total to actually make a set format, which is why they've been relying on the original cards too. The main reason I think they're actually setting this up is they are giving people a, an expectation of standard early on and not just blind signing people way later in the game when there's far more cards. I think it's a fairly clever idea on Blizzard's part to actually do it now so that people are kind of prepared for it when there's far more expansions in the far future. So in saying that, that's why I think this sets idea is an, why I think sets is an amazing idea. I think that it prevents power crawl and makes it so that the game can gain more variety while still not having to be better than the last set of cards. My only consensus with this is that they, maybe they should have waited a bit longer 
if they waited just a tad longer, I they, 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 they have complete justification. But maybe they just wanted to keep prepare people for what was to come. Anyway, that's all I want to talk about. I, I don't really know why I've talked about this. Maybe because I play the other two card games that contrast in terms of these. So I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, compare the two and explain why one really is in pain because of power crawl and why one is still thriving because power crawl isn't a problem because of sets. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. I'll see you again next time. Have a nice day.